Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna 
Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Krishna. This chapter is called Hare Krishna. Raj. It has many, many important shlokas. Thank 
Okay. Um, examination. Antakale Chamameva is one of the, is one remembers Krishna at the time of that he attains. We can try. I am unable to submit. Submit is not working. Submit function is not working. You need to scroll down so that you can find more messages. After that only you can submit. Done, everybody. Yes, 
चलो नाउ लेट मी टेक द आंसर्स इन द वर्स अंत काले स्मारेगा स्मरण मुक्तवा कलेवरम इज वन रिमेंबर्स क्वेश्चन एट द टाइम ऑफ डेथ ही अटेंस एज अ बोर्ड विदाउट अ डाउट यस 83% people got the first answer right heavenly planet no the body wants to go to krishna's place heavenly planet is also temporary if you remember krishna you go to krishna's place merges into brahman that is also temporary because there is no activity when he merges into brahman come back to her why he has to go to krishna's place tasma sarvesh kaleshu mam anusvarat yuddhacha so krishna says all uh, situation remember me and do your duty so both have to go together always remember to think of krishna and do your duty do your duty first <laughs> some people got trapped there without with forgetting krishna don't do anything that's not auspicious rather dangerous then maya will catch you one who reaches the whole uh, instruction of the vedas can be summarized into always remember krishna never forget krishna one who reaches krishna the abode sometimes goes to heaven no no why will he go never returns miserable material world yes never returns to this miserable world what decide the destination living at it the time of quitting the body one thoughts and remembers yes that's the most important criteria your activities and your thoughts that it remember together not once only fruit your activity no what is your memory what is in your smarana what kind of thought you cultivated and your activity was 8.28 krishna says the person who accepts the path of devotion service is not bereft of the multiple choice reserved desire for studying the vedas yes all are yes reserved desire for performing severe austerities yes reserved desire for giving to yes reserved desire for seeing philosophy yes at the end he reaches supreme abode yes all are correct yes this is multiple choice okay so ho gaya aapka quiz i have solved here and only now when you get time you can do the oh i can share the result also to you all oh you all can see now the results krishna the board without a doubt most of you got to try krishna emphasizes to always think of krishna do your duty on reaches krishna the board never returns to the temporary miserable world what decided the destination living at the time of death one thought and remembrance okay also the father is not bereft of the is a derived from studying the vedas okay okay fine chalo now i go to the chapter directly because this is a big chapter to do today now let me take care of the silence hmm. i muted everybody i have big chapter to do i'll come back in some time raj guhya yoga the most confidential knowledge it is there you can see but you can't understand the very very confidential this chapter directly deals with more and more the opulence of the lord more and more our heart is pure more and more we can hear understand the glories of krishna let us see what are the different shlokas The Supreme Lord said, "My dear Arjuna, because you are never envious of me, I shall impart to you the most secret wisdom, knowing which you shall be relieved from the miseries of material existence." O my Gyan, the Miranda said, "Gyan and Jana Shala, Kya Chakshu Malitam Ye Na Tasmay Shri Guru Ve Nama Nama Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Nama Ne Namaste Sarasute Devi Kaurubani Prajarini." निर्विशेषाय शून्यपाति पाशाद देशतारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासुरी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे 
So Krishna is saying, I can reveal more to you because you are not envious. This is the most important criteria. Our envy has to go. When you see Krishna, look at it. There's so, so much beauty, so much strength, so much power, so much knowledge. We'll get envious. <laughs> so as we are free from envy by good association, we can absorb Krishna more, just like anybody. If he's envious of you, you'll not tell him anything about yourself. Correct? So Krishna wants to reveal more, but when we are not envious, he cannot compare anywhere. Can you show your wealth to Krishna? Where is the comparison? Two rupees and he is the Saroloka Maheshwara. Krishna, look at the beauty. You can't even imagine this. He attracts every living entity from every species. So beautiful. Uh, Krishna is so knowledgeable. Uh, what he spoke Bhagavad Gita to this day, we are trying to study. He is so famous. To this day, all around the world, people know about Krishna. 5,000 years have happened. You ask anybody how many generations he remember. You ask. Many people can't even tell the name of their father, grandfather, great-grandfather. They stop. Previously, people have to remember seven births. Because marriage time, they will ask, tell the seven births. And if there is any match, the marriage will not happen. But today, what seven? Two, three is maximum. Everybody knows. Anna? Anybody knows seven? I don't think so. So, here it is. So Krishna is 5,000 years are over. So how many generations are over? Just imagine to this day still Krishna, Krishna. People remember Krishna. You know, you take say four generations in 100 years. So that means 5,000 years into 50. 200, 250 generations over. Still people know Krishna. So, this is. so anyway, so Krishna wants to reveal more, but he can do so only when we are not envious. So Krishna is telling you that is the condition. Then we are relieved from the miseries of material existence. In fact, to tell you something interesting on beauty, Krishna is a definition of beauty. This is a big trouble for the psychologist to understand what is beauty. They say beauty is uh, not truth and truth is not beauty. We said no, beauty is both truth and beauty is truth is beauty. Why? Because beauty begins with the Lord. Anything which looks like the Lord is beautiful. Say, suppose I can cut my eyebrows, it's not very difficult. People can't even look at me. Why? Because the reason is we are comparing with Krishna. And then something is beautiful. This is a beautiful shloka. Raja Vidya, Raja Gohiyam, Pavitram Vidam Uttamam, Tataksha Avagamam Dharamam, Susukam Kartum Avayam. Raja Vidya, King of Knowledge. Raja. So many knowledge is there, school, college, study. These are all skills. These are not knowledge. Skill, values, and knowledge are three different departments. If you, we have some presentations, I don't know if I can ever take up those course, which I teach as a bridge course in the school center. There I don't teach Gita directly. It's very difficult. They have no faith. So I do a bridge course for them where I teach them something else. <laughs> So I tell there is something called skills, IQ, which they're learning in the schools and colleges, but it's not complete. They need EQ, they need some values, because without values, what is life today? Anna? Today, all the biggest deficient society, there are no values. They don't know how to respect elders. They don't know how to be merciful to people. They don't know how to be friendly to the equal. They're just jealous of equals, and they always despise the elders. So we see the situation. So values have to be taught in society. But more important than the values is knowledge. Because if there is no goal, there is no values. Say, if there is a goal today, suppose the youngster says, I like drinking, what's wrong? No, it is against any gentleman goal of life. Therefore, it is wrong. So when we can define a goal, that something is good, something is bad. So Raj Vidya, this is the king because this is the actual knowledge. It's the king of all the knowledge. Raja Kuhiyam, it is very, very confidential. You may have Gita, you may have this chapter in front of you, you will not be able to understand. Pavitram, it is the purest, purest of the pure. It is the Uttamam, topmost. Prataksha, it is not story, you can see it. Suppose you begin chanting Hare Krishna, it's a matter of time, you can see what is spoken. Prataksha avagamam dharmam, susukam kartum avayam, it is joyfully performed. It is not that, oh, Hare Krishna, I have to do it. No, Baba, it is joyful. <laughs> Kevala Ananda Kanda. Where there is basically no, no way that a person can feel any difficulty in following this process.
has no control now. I just switched off the chat so that we can continue. Done. Those who are faithful on this path, the devotion service cannot, those who are not faithful cannot attain me. Therefore, I told you there is something without an authority is very, very unfortunate. We should doubt. The life is such in this world, we should not be blind faith. But I explained to you yesterday the difference between blind faith, practical faith, and skeptic. Hello, boy. Let's have a discussion on this. Who would like to say what is the difference between blind faith, practical faith, and skeptic? Yeah, you can speak, anybody. You can unmute yourself. Anybody knows the answer between blind faith? Uh, yes. Namaskar. Yes. Skeptic, uh, skeptic is doubtful. Actually, he he neither he does not know whether it is right or wrong. Uh, so he he has an element of doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, blind faith is uh, total belief, total surrender, like in the sense that uh, they don't know, but they think that by following something, good will be attained. Mm -hmm. And what uh, is practical faith? Practical faith is, uh, in my opinion. Uh, uh, like uh, they they evaluate uh, every step and think that uh, like uh, if it is feasible for them to follow and uh, they think about the result of uh, following the faith so yes thank you thank you sir thank you you are 99 percent correct little one fine tuning yes prabhuji gauri shankar ji No, your voice is not coming. Uh, am I audible, Guruji? Yeah, for you. Uh, skeptical is one who doesn't believe, who is always no against. And blind is one who doesn't participate by thinking about it. He just blindly takes it, doesn't involve himself or participate. Practical is you listen and participate with it with full glow, is what I felt. Okay, I do not remember where in this class I have explained. It's a very scientific division. There are three authorities in any field, which is called Guru, Sadhu and Shastra. Just like I don't know in this class if I explain. You know, most painful thing is kidney stone, if you had anybody. So you get a pain, unbearable pain, and you go to doctor. You are having a pain, you have to solve the problem. The doctor studies the scan and he sees the size of the stone. If it is more than eight millimeter, immediately something has to be done, otherwise you may lose the kidney. That's what little I know about some many cases. So doctor says you are having big stones, urgently let me do an operation, you may lose the kidneys. Okay. He's a doctor guru. A trained, certified doctor. You selected the field allopathy, that's your choice. Once you enter the field, you have to accept the authority of the field. Okay. Then is after that is called so guru. Sadhu is you refer the report to another doctor and he says, Yes, your family doctor. Yes, 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 urgent. Don't delay. And then Shastra, you know, nobody likes to get operation done. You come, you type on the computer, you know, maybe there's some other way today. And you study, then you see the scan, you see what the medical books say. You make your own study, brief study of the Shastra. And all the three supposed tally and they say, yes, you should go for an operation. Please go ahead because you're having a pain, unbearable pain. So if you're waiting now, you're mad. Guru Sadhu Shah. So, so practical faith means he takes advice of the three personalities who are the authorities in the place, Guru Sadhu Shah and proceed. Blind faith means he doesn't care to go to any authority, just decides he goes to a rickshaw follower. Like, what is your opinion? Hey, I think in my opinion, you know, you go for swimming. something gives funny advice and you follow that. That's blind faith. Doesn't look for authorities, follows anybody blindly. Then it's called skeptic. 
skeptic, you give the report one, you give the report two, you tell the Shah Saul says, still is doubting. It's paining, huh? <laughs> That's a doubting becomes a disease then. So, take care. So, Krishna is saying, therefore, do not doubt. Because if your path of devotion service has been accepted by the Shastra, the Bhagavad Gita itself, then uh, Acharyas, all the Acharyas like Madhvacharya, Ramanacharya, even we saw Narada, all are great devotees. And Shastra, Guru, Sadhu, Shastra, all the great Acharyas in the history, the Gurus at present, and the Shastra supports devotional service. So if still doubting, that is not fortunate. Krishna said then that will leave disease, a blind. But he'll return to the birth and death in the material world. Now, this is actually very mysterious how some people get faith and some people do not get faith. It's more or less uh, depends on uh, because Krishna cannot be partial. No? Somebody he gives faith, some, you know, it depends on person's sincerity and serious. How serious and sincere he is. Uh, more and more Krishna will reveal himself to him. It depends on our seriousness, sincerity and it is left to Krishna. We just give a path to people that is between him and Lord there. Just like a bird flies in the sky, every bird has to fly by its own strength. Other birds can't help. So in spiritual life, we can all encourage each other, but finally everybody has to satisfy the Lord with his sincerity. And nothing to worry, Krishna is not a demon. <laughs> He's a very, very, very unimaginably merciful person. He is fit to be the master. If somebody is fit to be the master, it is Krishna. Okay, so now let us continue. Thank you. Okay, if the audience is peaceful like this, I don't have to forcefully mute them. Okay. One of the faithful, we did this. By me, in this unmanifested form, this entire universe is pervaded. All beings are in this part. Not in them. Okay. Yet everything that is created does not rest in me. Behold my mystic opulence. Although I'm everywhere still, I'm different. Okay. I need to see the sky. Yet everything that is created does not rest in me. Behold, a mystic all. Although I am the main, all living entities, although I am everywhere still myself with the, with the very soul. Yes. The whole cosmic un, uh, order is under me. By my will, it is manifested again and again, and by my will, it is annihilated at the end. All the main, all living, although I am everywhere, still I am still as very source of creation, or mighty will be always there since that is. Me. This is a mysterious thing, which is actually called the Achinta Bheda Bheda Tattva, given by Lord Chaitanya. Everything rests in Krishna, but He is not there. Krishna is actually in Vaikuntha, Goloka, with his devotees. This world is manifested by his energies and by the Paramatma feature of the Lord. But his personal presence can be accessed only by devotion. Otherwise, he's, Krishna is always with his devotees in the spiritual world. All this work cannot bind me. Bind me. I'm ever detached, seated as a neutral. This is very nice. Maya Dakshe na Prakriti Suyate Sacharacharam Hetu Nane na Kauntaya Jagad Vipari Vardate. This metal nature is working under my direction of Sanam Kunti and is producing all moving and non moving beings. By its rule, this manifestation is created and related again and again. Yes. So, metal nature, whole metal nature is under the control of Krishna. It is not independent. Maya Adhyakshena, it is under his control. Bhakti Yoga Namanasi Samyak Pranahite Amale Apashat Purusham Puna Maya Tatapashyam. When Vedavyasa also sat on meditation, he saw like that. He saw the Supreme Lord and Maya totally under his control. So, mental nature is under control of Krishna. So, you don't have to worry too much. Yes, now these are all beautiful shlokas. 
अवजानी मूढ़ा मनुषि तनुमाश्रित परम भाव जानो मम भूत महेशर अवजानी मूढ़ा द फूल डू नाट नो मी मनुषि तनुमाश्रित वेन ऐ कम इन द्यूमन फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ they misunderstand i give you the example many time in a jail when the king comes he is not a pickpocket but other pickpocket thing another pickpocket has come no another pickpocket has not come king has come and when king comes to the jail he is not under the control of the jail he is totally free like krishna was never under control of anything in this world totally he was free swarat param bhavo the people do not know as superior nature mama bhuta maheshra the lord of all living entities people do not know they think i am one of them अब जानती माँ मूडा मानुषम तनु आश्रित फूस डिराइड मी वेन आई कम टू द ह्यूमन फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड मेनी पीपल से शो मी गॉड वेन कृष्णा वॉज देयर इट्स हाउ मेनी पीपल कुड रिकग्नाइज हिम मे बी पांडवस फ्यू भीष्मा फ्यू पीपल बट नॉट काउंटेड पीपल मोग श्या मोग कर्मा मोग ज्ञान चेत सह राक्षसी मा शरी चैवा प्रकृति मोहि नैम सि Who consider Krishna as one of us? Everything will be destroyed for them. Ah, uh, the very demonic, atheist, atheistic view. Everything is a failure for them. Their hopes are liberation, their fruitive activity, their cultural knowledge. All everything is mogasha. Mogasha, mo, mogasha means destroyed. Everything is destroyed. This is a beautiful instance. महात्मनाज तो मां पार्थ देवी प्रकृति माशिता भजन्ति अनन्य मनसो ज्ञात्वा भूतादिम अभयम Mahatma, the great souls, Devi in Prakriti Mahashita. They are just like Kama Krodha is dragging us, and we all know Kama Krodha Krodha is within my perception. I can see it, I can feel it. Same way, just like Mahamaya, you are feeling great Acharyas. They feel Yoga Maya, how energy which gives them pleasure, spiritual pleasure. Mahatma is to Maam Partha, Devi in Prakriti Mahashita. Bhajanti Ananya Manaso Gyata Bhuta Adi Maya. so let us understand this i like to tell this story i don't know how many of you know how many people know the story madhvendra puri oh saidesh knows the story yes tell Yes, Saida, she can unmute yourself. Hare Krishna, Santosh. Yes, yes, who knows this story? Nobody knows. What is happening here? Who is this personality sitting below the tree? Madhavi and Puri. Yes, what is the story, Saida? Is the story of Gopi Nath? Huh? Now he is in Vrindavan, Saidesh. Yes. Gopal Diti. This is Gopal Diti. See what happens. Madhavendra Puri comes to Vrindavan, and he is following what is known as Ajagarabriti. He doesn't ask anybody for food. He just chants. Somebody gives something to eat. He eats. Otherwise, he fast. So he comes to Vrindavan and he sits down below a tree and he's peacefully sitting and chanting, chanting. He's happy. The devotee is very satisfied. It's a very great devotee actually. And then he is a guru of guru of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu guru is Ishwar Puri. His guru is Madhavendra Puri. So then what happens? Suddenly, uh, he one small boy comes in front of him. He says, "I have some milk for you." He said, "Who are you?" No, no. I am a coward boy here. Some ladies milking cows saw you. They saw you have not eaten anything, so nobody should starve in Vrindavan. So I brought some milk for you. Please take it. So he looks at the boy, so beautiful. <laughs> Then anyway, thank you very much. He takes the milk, and the boy goes away, and he drinks the milk, and he sleeps off. Then in the dream, same Krishna comes to him. He said, "Arey Madhavendra Puri, where are you?" nearby i am lying in a bush he is this is the one that how the miracle of gopal diti was uh, was there this gopal diti presently in nath dwara in north india very famous diti very very famous diti nath dwara diti of gopal so madhavendra puri uh, sees in the dream the diti the diti takes him to the place in a thick bush and he says that see i am lying here please you know take me out of this place 
So the Madan Dupuri then uh, you know gets up. He really feels very bad. Krishna came and I did not recognize him. <laughs> then he wakes up the whole village. He said, "Please come. The deity of the Lord is hiding." That's you know, find it 600 years ago. People are much more devotional than today. India was highly devotional. So people, whole village gathers and they go towards and anywhere near Vrindavan. People are anyway very very great devotees. So all of them together go and they go with axes and all the thick bush and they find the deity lying actually. There's a miracle of the deity being identified of Madhavan Dupuri in the bush, which he got in a dream. Then they take the deity and then they install. So anyway, that's the point. Great acharyas like this are always absorbed in the smarana of the Lord. Mahatmana so Mahamparta, such consciousness actually exists. Devim Prakati. This is yoga maya of the energy which will manifest in our heart once we are sincere and serious. Krishna will be very happy to reveal more and more his existence. Satatam kirta yanto maam yatantascha dhrida vartaha namashyanta maam bhaktya maam bhaktya nitya yukta upasate. Satatam, such great souls. How do you know when somebody is under yoga maya constantly if you start doing treatment? Constantly, you can't stop it. His heart is filled with happiness. He always wants to do Krishna Kirtan. Now you can see. This is Srila Prabhupada Acharya with his young followers. He installed the deity, uh, perhaps in London, I think Radha Landaneshwara. He just installed the deity. Uh, and have, having Kirtan with the disciple. So much you can say natural happiness. Pitaham asya jagato madadhata pitamaha vedyam pavitram omkara riksam yajureva cha. I am the father of the universe, the mother of support, the grandson. I am the object, the purifier, the silver lobe. I am also yajurvedas. I am the goal, the sustainer, the master, the witness, the abode, the refuse, the most dear friend. I am the creation, the creation, the basis, everything resting place in the eternal seed. Oh, Arjuna, I control. This is how Krishna controls the middle energy. Control the heat, rain, and drought. I am immortality. I am also death personified. Both being and non-being are in me. So he controls everything. But people want to go up and down. Those who study the Veda and drink the Somaras, Somaras, Soma juice, Seeking the heavenly planet, worship me indirectly, taking birth in the planet of Indra, where they enjoy God. I just keep going up and down. If it is in Punya, go to heaven. Just like your money, you go to America, money is finished, you have to come back. Isn't it? So you keep going up and down, that's all, like a fairy wheel. When they are thus enjoyed heavenly sense pleasure, they return to the mortal planet, thus, though through the Vedic principles, they achieve only flickering happiness. Many people do not they want spiritual happiness. They follow the Veda. Yami Maam Pushvatam Vacham. Second chapter, Krishna already warned about it. Don't be attracted by the flowery words of the Vedas. But people think that's all the Vedas are. Do some Punya, do some Hova, go to heaven and enjoy with Apsaras. That is not what the Vedas teach. Vedesha Sarvev Ahameva Vedya. Through all the Vedas, you have to go back to the Lotus Feet of the Lord. Not heaven, Vaikuntha. Heaven is in the metal world and also not a permanent place. Ananyas, this is in whole Bhagavad Gita, ninth chapter in the center, and within ninth chapter, this is the diamond of the ninth chapter. Perhaps the most important verse in the whole Bhagavad Gita. Ananyas chinta yanto maam ye jana pariyopashate esham nityavi yukta ram yoga kshema vahamiham. You have seen LIC has put the, the slogan. This is the shloka they use. Huh? Swamiji, ah. this is yes. in Sarasthamam also. This sloka comes from Sarasana also. Very nice, very nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So Ananya Chintayantoma with no other diversion, no other diversion, no Ananya, only Krishna. Ye Jana Paryupasate, those who are constantly worshiping Krishna without any diversion. Okay, let me serve Krishna, let me serve Krishna, let me serve Krishna. All day they think how to serve Krishna. Te Sham Nityabinuktayam Yoga Kshema Mahami. Krishna says, I protect what they have and I give what they lack. In fact, associated with this is a very big story. Somehow today I could not locate the picture of that. That is Yamunacharya. Yamunacharya was a great Acharya in the Sampradaya of Shri Sampradaya. 
And once what happened was that Yamunacharya was writing a commentary on Bhagavad Gita. When he has read this shloka, when he was writing a tatparya on this, he said, why will Krishna, because Krishna said, aham, aham is I. I will personally see that devotee, my devotee has everything that he needs and whatever else he needs, I'll supply him. Okay, what he has, I'll protect and what he extra he needs, I'll supply. I'll take care, protect my devotee and supply him extra whatever necessities he needs. So he says, aham means I will do it. So you think, why our Narayana Krishna has to personally take care? Maybe he'll tell somebody to do. Why he has to do? So he, he, the literal translation what he got, he cut it. He said, he'll make arrangements. And then after that, he went to take a bath. You know, in the river nearby, people will take bath. He went to take. So his wife was sitting in the house, waiting for the husband. Suddenly two boys come running with a heavy cart. And it has full of items, you know, it has so many things they need in the house, ghee, you know, so many fruits, vegetables, floated grains, varieties of grains, heavy, so 30, 40 kilos and small boys. So as they kept come running, the wife says, what happened? Who sent you? Your husband has sent me with all the things. My God, so heavy. Are not only that, he beat us so badly. So he said, uh, he said, take it to my house. And he was beating us. He said, okay. My God, my husband, what has happened to him? So why don't you stay? Why don't you eat something? No, 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 no. He's a very dangerous person, your husband. They run away. Then the wife is waiting and she's very angry at the husband. What has happened to my husband? And the husband comes and she starts shouting at him. What has happened to you nowadays? You started doing all this thing, Mr. Yamuna Acharya. You thought you were a great Acharya. You have started behaving like this nowadays. He said, what, what happened? No, no. This. Why will I do all this thing? Okay. Now two boys came. Then he got suspicious. Said, Can you tell me the description? Oh, he said, Krishna Balaram personally came. Because I was doubting that Krishna will supply me necessities or supplies to devotee necessities, he personally brought the items to prove that actually he personally takes care of the devotees. Just like, say, you know, there is a big example. Once what happened, one king was discussing this with his minister, you know, some concept. So minister was saying, no, Lord personally takes care. I said, why will he? So what happened? And the minister arranged this. One day, one citizen, he threw in the water, just for an example for him. So immediately king saw it. Hey, save him. He sent one soldier. And next day, what he did, he pushed his prince into the water. Immediately, the king personally jumped to the water. There was a difference. So when he came out, he said, why did you, first day you threw some, you personally did not jump? That's how it is. Where a devotee, Krishna personally takes charge. Like Arjuna, life was in danger. Krishna did not tell somebody. He personally came out to protect him. You know, he didn't care. People will call him, I don't follow regulative. I don't follow, I am a jhuta. Because the book and principal Krishna doesn't care about that. He wants to be known as a bhakta vasala, not so-called moralities of this world. So Krishna personally protects his devotee, personally takes care of his devotee. Otherwise, when you are not personally interested, the rules are taken care. Uh, so there are two things involved in a personal life. One is Kala, one thing Krishna's personal care. For a devotee, Krishna's personal care starts apart from Kala. If he totally surrenders, then only Krishna's personal care is there. Okay, beautiful. Continue. So these are all uh, next sloka. Yepi anni devata bhakta yajante shadda yan vita teepi maameva kaunta yajanti avidi puruka. Again, see Krishna is commenting on devata puja. He is saying, you may worship different devatas, but actually it is meant for me alone. But it is not done properly because Krishna wants you to come to him. His door is open. Why are you avoiding him? Krishna just cannot understand. Okay, you understand? You all get the idea? Suppose your father is there in the same town and he's waiting to meet you. But you call some neighbor, his heart will pain. Why he doesn't call me? I want to talk to him. But he's avoiding. So Krishna doesn't like it. And then he says to the neighbor, you know, I tell my father, no, I need one car or I need this. He may give, but he's not happy in this way. Okay? And it is not a proper way. It's called avidi. Avidi means you are trying to bribe the devatas to get a work done from Krishna. Krishna is not very happy. And I told you yesterday also, that benediction which comes through the devatas, even though sanctioned by Krishna, there is no protection because Krishna doesn't 
because you are avoiding so much. Krishna doesn't put personal care. Now he's he's pestering me, pestering me, give me that also. Krishna is a gift. But in personally, when you go to Krishna, he may not give some time because he knows you from millions of birth. He knows you what kind of person you are. Just like suppose you are a friend. In college, we go or school. Ten days, you know his behavior. Oh, he he will do this. Oh, he Krishna is watching from millions of years. He exactly knows you. What you going to do? So sometimes he may not sanction something for our good, but we are pestering him and he forces him. Then it's okay. There is no protection. Yanti deva brata deva an pitri yanti pitri vacha bhutani yanti bhutajya yadya jani api yanti maam. Generally, people want to hurt somebody. They go to bhutas. They be devatas when they want to gain somebody, and they go to supreme god even higher than that. Yanti deva brata deva. Those who worship the uh, Devata, they go to their planet. So devatas all have a planet. It's not that devatas are fictitious or mythology. They have a planet. It's such a painful word for we devotees to hear the word mythology. Mythology means myth. Correct? There's a Gita part of Hindu mythology. Why do you use such words? Very sad. I see all the intellectuals in the newspapers writing Hindu mythology. Why? Yanti deva brata devan. If you worship devatas, you go to their planet. Pitri yanti pitri vachaha. If you worship the pitris, you go to their planet. Bhutani yanti bhuteja. If you worship ghost, you become another ghost. And if you worship Krishna, you go to their planet. So if you by worshiping a devata, you can go to devata's planet. Definitely worship Krishna, you go to his planet. By worshiping devata, the benefit you get is temporary. By worshiping Krishna, the benefit you get is permanent. Okay, is it clear? Anybody has a question on till now? I don't want to just keep running. One by one, there are beautiful shlokas in Bhagavad Gita. This chapter has the best of the shlokas. Any questions on this? Any doubt on this? Gauri Shankar Ji ka hath khada hai. Then, yes, Prabhuji. Anybody has a question? Many people say this. You do whatever worship you want. The benefit same. But that Gita is not saying that. He said, you buy a ticket for Delhi, you go to Delhi. You buy a ticket for Chennai, you go to Chennai. You don't go to Chennai with a ticket for Delhi. Okay. I can't. I'll continue. This is a beautiful shloka. These are all jewels from the Bhagavad Gita. Patram pushram phalam toyam yome bhakta prayachati tadaham bhakti upahritam asnami prayatatmanaha. Patram pushpam phalam toyam. Krishna is saying, if you want to eat anything, first you offer to me, then eat. See, we say I'm a devotee of Krishna, but you know, I don't know if you've done Nevedya. You can yourself introspect and see at that moment. Actually, I have no faith, and neither I have any love. You can see that. So practical devotion service is very important. One thing called Bhagavad Vidhi, one thing called Pancharatri Kavedi. Bhagavad Vidhi is what we are doing now, hearing about the Lord. Shravadam, Kirtanam, Smaranam. The first three angas of Bhakti. Bhakti has nine angas. Shravadam, Kirtanam, Smaranam. These are called the Bhagavad Vidhi. Archanam, Mandanam, Padasevanam. These are all coming. Next four comes under Pancharatra Vedi and Sakyam and Atmani Vedam come under Raganuga Bhakti. This is how it is divided. So in the Sadhana Bhakti, the first three are called Shavanam, Kirtana, Swarana. What we are doing now? Thinking about the Lord, talking about the Lord, hearing about the Lord. But the thing is, we also need practical devotion service. Archanam. Archana means this part of Archana, offering to the Lord. See what a feast it is there. In temples, we offer feasts like this on festivals. Okay. Even though so patra, so you see all the items which we make are made of only these things. Patra, pushpa, phala. You all know that. When any pious family, when there is nevedya, we cannot bring egg, fish, <laughs> you cannot bring for Krishna. You cannot, that leave office. Krishna doesn't say, he has given a list. Patra means, what does the plant give a leaf, give a flower, fruit. Krishna says, eat only after offering to me. Because even vegetarian food, there may be some sin involved in cooking or procuring, you might have given inconvenience to some living entity. So Krishna says, do it for me. 
I'll take all the sin and give you wonderful prasada full of mercy. Tadaham bhakti upaharitam asnami prayatatmanaha. Krishna says, I accept. Somebody asked Srila Prabhupada, when you put a plate in front of the Lord, how do you know God accepts it? And it's a very reasonable question. So Prabhupada gave a very witty answer. He said, see, whom do I accept? Krishna or you? Krishna says, I eat, because he's saying, asnami, I'm going to eat it. And should I agree to Krishna or a fool like you who says he doesn't agree? Take. When Krishna says, I'm going to take, he's not telling a lie. Jhur thodi bol rahe. He's telling a truth. I'm going to eat it. But the condition is there. Bhaktiya. We should offer with devotion. Huh? Bhakti. Again, the word bhakti. Prayatatmanaha. With great respect to offer. So three superlatives are there, executives. It has to be offered with love. Definitely Krishna takes it. Okay? So then in house, we can have plate. You see, this plate is made of silver. That's generally they do it in temple. But it may be expensive. So no needed. Any plate. But that plate, nobody should have eaten. A new plate. I keep it aside. At least sometimes in a day, something at least, at least one fruit we can offer to the Lord. Always, whenever you offer something, put Tulsi. Because Krishna doesn't accept without Tulsi. Tulsi is so dear to him. He has made a condition. Without Tulsi, I'll not look at it. So Tulsi and fruit and water. Okay, at least that we can offer milk. Something simple we can offer. If we can, the good practices, whatever you eat, you offer and eat. Then you feel spiritual advancement. In a temple, as we bhaktas, we have a, we almost have a or we never eat anything not offered. Except sometimes in emergency when you're traveling, we don't eat anything outside. Okay? Patram pushram phalam toyam yomai bhakti ave devotion if it is offered. Tadam bhakti upayritam asnami prayatatmana. One side we chant Hare Krishna. The tongue is the most difficult sense to control. Two things we do. One side chant Hare Krishna. Other side, don't take anything which is not offered to the Lord. We eat only prasad. Okay, this is beautiful shloka. Yat karoshi adasna shi yat juho siddhasiyat yat tapasya sikonte ya kurusha madha arpanam. Whatever you do, you do something, do it for Krishna. Everybody has some abilities. Why don't you use it for Krishna glorification? Yadashna, she, whatever you eat. So whatever you do, do through Krishna. Don't do it directly. Yajjuhosi, all that you offer and give away. Use it for Krishna. Tadasi, yatapasasi, whatever tapasya do you? Kurushamadarpadam, just like we say that any yagna, Krishna Arpadam, do it for Krishna's pleasure. Whatever you do should be connected through Krishna. Don't do it independently. You see the, how beautiful deity is. Very nice. Hyper, these are called, nowadays they are calling this psychologist hyper reality paintings. We have been painting this painting for 50 years. Almost they look, as it looks a photograph actually. Huh? Beautiful. This is another jewel. Each shloka requires one hour explanation. Samoham sarva bhuteshu yinamay dveshu asti na priyaha ye bhajanti tuma bhaktya mahititesh chapiham. Krishna says, I am equal to everybody. Samoham sarva bhuteshu, I am equal to all the living entity. Namay dveshu asti na priya. There is nobody which is, I am envious of, nobody which is specially dear to me. I am equal to everybody. But, but there is one tu, ye bhajanti tu, tu. This tu is but. When I see my devotee, I lose control of myself. <laughs> I am his and he is mine. You know, Krishna says, see, I am very equal, you know, like a father, but somebody who is, you know, devoted, genuinely devoted to me, I lose control. He becomes mine, I become his. Because Krishna is a person. It's not partiality. It's a, he is a person. He's also a person at the end of the day. And, uh, but, and his, his special favor to the devotees is on a spiritual platform, not material. On a spiritual platform. Okay. Apicheta Sudharacharo Bhajate Namam Ananevag Sadhureva Samanta Vyaha Samyak Vapasato Hisaha. He said somebody may do the most abominable sinful activity. Apicheta Sudharacharo. But still, if he is constantly chanting my name, I will take him as a sadhu. Just like this example is taken of Jagai Madai. They actually Nityananda Prabhu on the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu going house to house requesting everybody, please chant Hare Krishna. Please chant Hare Krishna. So these people are drunk, are so drunk they took up, you know, they you know previously drink on a matka. They took that matka and threw on the head of Nityananda Prabhu. Therefore, you can see on his head there is some blood here. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to know 
he became furious. He came with huge anger there. And not only that, he called for Sudarshana. Actually, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu was hidden Krishna Balaram. Some other day I'll explain to you. Kalor Sankirtan Arambe Bhavishyami Sachi Sutta. Kali, you have to start Sankirtan, the Lord comes to the son of Mother Sachi. There are 100 references to explain how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a hidden Lord in, in Kaluga as a devotee. So he calls for Sudarshana and you know in the sky there is a huge fire because Sudarshana is a very powerful weapon can be. And Nityananda Prabhu falls on his feet. No, not in this incarnation you're going to lift weapon. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, okay, okay. And these two people, Jagai Madai, fall at the feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Please forgive us. Some mistake happened from us. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, okay, I'll forgive. So the point is somebody agrees to engage in devotion service, you should accept it as sadhu, even though he might have whatever background it is. There is another, this, this shloka has a lot of deep meaning, which can be misunderstood. Sadhu Deva Samantya Vya Samyak Vivisto Hisaha. So it's not that I do sinful activities and then I can chant Hare Krishna and think I'm a great devotee. No, we cannot plan like that. But we are engaging in devotion service sometimes because of force of our previous samskaras or conditioning. We do a sinful activity. It may happen because of our previous karma. So what does it do? Apichetu Krishna still pardons you if you are sincere. If what the condition is, you are constantly engaged in devotion service. Say, you are become a devotee, you are strictly following rules and regulations. And one evening you may meet your friends and all friends are drunkards and you were also drunkard a few months ago. And they're all in their company, it's you slipped and you also drank one glass of liquor. Now you come back home, what do you do? What does Krishna treat you? Krishna treats you like a demon? No, Krishna doesn't treat you like a demon. If you are constantly chanting, you know, he will pardon you if you are sincere. The condition is I'm sincere. It happened accidentally. Any accident to fall down will be pardoned by the Lord. Okay? Krishna will pardon us if we are sincere. Apicheza sudhara charo bhachate maam ananya bhag sadhu reva samantavya samyak vivisato hisaha. So this should not be misused. If somebody is sleeping like a child, or take a better example. When a child is trying to walk, he does slip in the beginning. He does slip. The mother is the one who does not take an offense. What does the mother say? She's waiting, smiling. No, no, he'll walk now. But then it doesn't mean a 50-year-old child is not able to walk at <laughs> a height of it. We should have crossed over a long time ago. So we say I'm, everybody feels I'm 10 years into spiritual life, 20 years, but you, why are you sleeping? You should not slip. And don't think that you should be called a serious devotee, then you're a neophyte. Okay? So this is, has a lot of checks and balances in the shloka. Easily can be misunderstood. Somebody may say, Krishna says, doesn't matter. Durachar means bad, Sudurachar means very bad activity happens, but if he's constantly chanting, Krishna says, ignore it. Just like a mother, when a child falls in the beginning, mother ignores out of love. So the shloka also shows Krishna's love for a devotee. Krishna says, don't disturb him. Don't disturb him. In fact, it happened once Srila Prabhupada's, uh, one uh, say some temple was there. And one devotee was there and he did some wrong activity. And then the temple president threw him out. Not only threw him out, he heard a whole big Easter ghost explaining, oh, see, he did that, he did that, he did that, he did that. Prabhupada came to know. And he said, why did you do that, Mr. President? Why did you do that? Now, if he wants to come, with what face he will come? Okay, if you publicly make fun of somebody, a slight mistake happens. The so same mistake. Say somebody is devotee. By mistake, he smoked a cigarette when he went in the wrong company. He can be given some rehabilitation and reformation. But if you publicly make fun of him, how will he live then? Give him a chance. Everybody should get a chance to get up. It does happen sometimes somebody may slip, but then he should get a, from a fresh slate, allow him to pick himself up and proceed. Not that you make such propaganda out of him that he has to commit suicide or he has to uh, run away from company or devotees forever. So there's a checks and balances are there. Sadhu Reva Samantha Vyaha. Krishna three times says, yes, Sadhu Eva certainly Mante, we take it like that. Three times Krishna is showing this is his love for a devotee. Don't make fun of my devotee. Sometimes in the initial stages, they may slip. The next loka, Krishna says, why is he telling that? Why? Just like a mother, when a child sleeps, what mother says, no, 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 he'll walk now. He'll certainly walk. Wait, 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 he'll walk. He, she has the, the best well-wisher for a child. And look here. 
क्षिप्रम भवती धर्मात्मा सच शांति न गति कौंते या प्रतिजान ही नमे भक्ता प्रणशति कृष्ण से अर्जुन आर गोइंग डिक्लेयर यू डिक्लेयर वाई डिट कृष्ण नॉट डिक्लेयर बिकॉज कृष्ण इज नोन टू ब्रेक प्रोमिस He breaks many times. So I will not say you say because if you say I'll I'll see it is not broken. What is the statement? Shipram bhavati dharmaatma. Quickly he will become right is because he has taken the path of Krishna consciousness. Matter of time. Sasha shanti nega chedi kaunte ya prati jani. Arjuna go and declare to the world my devotee will not perish. And where is short? Pralad. Krishna did not allow Hiranyaka to even touch him. Nothing happened to Pralad even though attempts to kill. And this is a very interesting incident. I think very few of you know about this. Incidents is this. When Narasimha Dev appeared, you can see some lot of bodies lying left and right. He killed all Hiranyakashipu, and some of the soldiers came to attack him and threw all with the nails. He threw everybody out. Then he was still roaring with anger, and you can see the Devata the hiding behind the pillar. They have no courage to come in front. Narasimha Dev wants to show now that the Pralad Maharaj is above even the Devatas. He wants to show. There was a small boy. Is a very great devotee. So when testing situation comes, they say no. When going get tough, the tough get going. So in this ferocious anger, which is exhibiting, actually it's the lila of the Lord. All the devatas, you can say Indra and the rest, nobody has courage to go in front. Nobody wants to go in front because they are scared. But Pralad Maharaj, Brahma says to Pralad, Pralad, you go. Please pacify the Lord. He is not. Even though he has killed Hiranyakashipu, his anger is still there. Pralad Maharaj just walks, thak thak thak, fearlessly. He shows that he, as a devotee, his faith in the Lord is much higher, and he walks and immediately falls at the feet of Narsimha Deva. And same Narsimha's anger immediately subsides. He takes his hand, same hand by which he has killed his father, puts it on the head of Pralad. My dear Pralad, you are so dear to me. And Pralad Maharaj then offers beautiful prayers, three chapters of prayer. Who, I mean, how many people have even read that? Amazing prayers. You read those prayers, Pralad Narasimha Dev says after hearing the pray prayers, you are best of my devotee. I have so many devotees. I don't have a devotee like you. So special, so beautiful prayer, sir. Satvai Gata Namanaso Prabha Nam. It's beautiful prayers. And anyway, some other day we will take up those prayers. So he says beautiful prayers. So Kante Yap. So Krishna says, Namay Bhakta Pranashi, my devotee is always protected. This is a guarantee I give, and this story I told you little that sometimes pure devotee can be filtered out from the test of other devotee who are not so pure. Pralad Maharaj is very very advanced devotee. Sometimes Krishna arranges tough situation, and then he says the whole word. Look, look at my devotee. He's so special. Maami partha vipashetya. ये पिशु पाप यो नया श्रियो वैश्य तथा शूद्रा ते पियांति पराम गति सी मामी पार्त पपाश्यत्या कृष्ण सेज एनी बडी हू टेक शेल्टर ऑफ मी प्रॉपरली ये पिशु पाप यो न ही मे बी फ्रॉम एनी पाप योनी एनी सिंपल बैकग्राउंड डज नॉट मैटर ही कैन अटेन द हाईएस्ट डेस्टिनेशन डज नॉट मैटर इन व्हाटएवर सिचुएशन वी मे बी वी कैन अचीव द हाईएस्ट डेस्टिनेशन सो वी कैन नॉट से ओ हाउ कैन आई टेक शेल्टर ऑफ कृष्ण आई एम वेरी पापी इट डजंट मैटर कृष्ण सेज You can achieve the highest param gati. You can achieve if you properly take shelter. Does not matter if you are from papa yoni. This is the last shloka of this chapter. Manmana bhav madhavakto madhyaji maam namas karu maam evesh is yukta evam atma nam mat parayana. Krishna is saying in this shloka, all you need to do this one of the beautiful painting. Manmana, always think about the Lord. Manmana. Bhav madh bhakto become his devotee. When you love the Lord, then only you can think about somebody. When you love somebody, you can think about him 24 hours, isn't it? So, yes, okay, Krishna says, think about me, become my devotee. Madh yaji, you worship me. Next, you worship me. When you love somebody, when you become his devotee, next thing you worship him. Maam namaskaru, offer your obeisances to me. This is the four thing Krishna is asking us to do. What are the four thing? Man mana, always think about him. Become his devotee, worship him, and offer your obeisances to him. Ma evesh is the yukte evam atmanam yat parayana ha. In this way, if you are absorbed in me, you will definitely come back to me. This is how this chapter ends with the most beautiful shloka. The so chapter I can divide into three parts, simple division. Bhagwat Ashare Gyana was there in the first ten shlokas of this chapter. Rajavidya Rajkuyam being the key word. 
ways to approach Krishna happened in another 15 verses. Satatam kirta yanto maham yadantascha dhrinavrataha. And in the last verses, eight verses, sweetness of Krishna. Uh, sweetness of exclusive devotion. And it ended with the special shloka, manmanava mad bhakto. Yes, I can have some questions now. Sorry to have muted you all. Pin drop silence. Yes, Kalavati Shetty. Yes, Mataji. The demigods, like the Brahma Vishnu. Who are the demigods, like Brahma, Vishnu, Vaishnava? They are also demigods? No, 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 no. Vishnu is not a demigod. Vishnu and Krishna is same. Oh. Vishnu is like uh, in office, just like you go to meet a judge in office. My Lord, you have to get up. That is the mood. And, but the same judge at home is very, very pleasant. You can approach him with so much intimacy. So Vishnu is same as Krishna, but managing this world, Krishna does not participate. Krishna is in Goloka. He invests into Vishnu. Uh, there are three Vishnu forms which are involved in the creation. I do not know. Some other day, if I can show you, if you want, I can show you today, if you want. Any other question? I can uh, Prabhuji, I have a question. Um, yeah. Hare Krishna. Um, I know you have discussed extensively about uh, uh, demigods and uh, uh, Krishna. Uh, the question I have here is, I know uh, India is a great cultural land and it has uh, some uh, three crore gods and goddesses. Uh, having said that, when you said uh, all the offerings you make to other gods and goddesses, they come to me. Uh, if, if it is reaching Krishna in some form or the other, uh, why uh, propagate that uh, you should only think of me? If uh, directly or indirectly, if every offering made to other gods and goddesses is reaching uh, Krishna, why should uh, we ask people only to think about Krishna? No, no, Krishna says, no, he says, Avidhi Purukam. That's not the way it should have been done. See, I give you the example. See, first you should understand what are the devatas. Devatas are not God. In the jail of the middle world, they're administrators, they're solved. They have no domain in the spiritual world. Metal world is the jail. We are, we are there in the jail. They're just the managers of the jail. That's all. That's all it is. And finally, what do you want? If you want to go stay in the metal world comfortably, then even if you don't think about Krishna, it doesn't matter. But if you want to go to the abode of the Lord, then question comes of thinking about it. So before talking, comparing Devatas and Krishna, first thing is what do you want? I want to live comfortably in this world. Then what do you have to do with Krishna? The, the, the administrators of jail are enough for you. But if you want to go back to the lotus feet of the Lord, devatas can't help you. You have to go to the Lord. Just like the jailer can make your life comfortable, but order to release have to come from the king. You understand? So it is a direct connection and to the source. See, the soul is a son of the Lord. Mamev Amsha. The soul is a part and parcel of the Lord, just like a mother. Now my mother, I'm 50 year old now, still my mother says you're part of my body. Correct? That is the Correct. feeling Krishna is having for you. That feeling, Devadas, Devadas are other, other children of the Lord who are more pious. Correct? With him, it is like we are part of his body. And he's asking out of love, please relate to me. And you want to avoid him. Why you're avoiding, he says. So that's why you call the neighbors, get the work done. He, but he said, this is not, don't bribe the devatas for that. You come to me directly. My dear child, come. So everybody should have a direct relationship with the Lord. Why hesitate? You understand? Nice. Devatas are also jiva tattva. They are not Vishnu tattva. It's just another spark of soul. He's not Vishnu, the fire. It's just another soul. But who is more right here? Say, what happened? The jail is a burden on the government. So the government generally does not like to invest more. So within the jail, what government does is that whoever is more responsible 
the government gives him the responsibility correct you take chapati correct. distribution you do this so you like who likes to go who wants to go inside the jail and work it's not very pleasant experience theek hai i'm just locating the verse you are saying anyway so krishna you know why avoid him why avoid him that is the point theek hai right and then another thing what happens materially speaking devi devdas will satisfy your desires that is also with krishna's sanction because he is involved but there is no protection there say you want a car okay krishna knows you from hundreds of birth just like i tell you in a college is anywhere in 15 days you know a person he is like this that's how we talk about our friend he is like this among your friends company we we can make a judgment of the people very fast krishna right. knows you from millions of birth and he is sitting in your heart as parmatma where are the devatas near you he is the nearest to you standing in shankha chakra gada pada with looking at you watching you so if he says be devoted to me exclusively because he is devoted to you say suppose you tell your son my dear child i call you 20 times that day even once you didn't have a time to you know pick up my call you feel, i don't feel bad hai na so <laughs> if if krishna is saying to you that think about me he has a right because he is thinking about you 24 hours personally just like in uh, you know when krishna married 16000 queens he was there in every house in dwarka that is krishna's power he can be parallelly present everywhere so he is parallelly there in everybody's heart and he is totally looking at it 24 hours thinking about you when he is thinking like that is so much love he has a right to ask to do back why don't you think about me i am thinking about you 24 hours and then if you don't connect to krishna with love you will never be happy devi devatas cannot do that thing you understand okay right. this is a little amazing actually a uh, little uh, advanced when shila prabhu was in america they asked him this question as a journalist what does your religion teach how we relate to another person prabhupad gave a surprising answer he said we have nothing to do with that we got surprise prabhupad said first the lord then through the lord we connect to the world theek okay? hai just like your devi devata the 30 crore devi devata suppose you say i want to satisfy how you will do it is just like going to a tree and taking a syringe and putting water on every leaf it's not practical you put water on the root automatically it will go everywhere so it yes, is definitely yes. uh, what you saying is right but better it is directly go directly go he is waiting with open arms my dear child come and you can avoid avoid it is said that you can be discourteous to an elderly person then he say to isko tabeez nahi hai correct we don't say that suppose the elder comes and somebody doesn't get up he is a, you know has no etiquette this fellow but somebody ignoring the lord in the vedas is considered thoroughly condemned because a uh, lord is special we should have respect for every devata but special Absolutely. respect for krishna because nobody loves you like him so he has that relation and nobody has the power like him perfect thank you okay uh, i'm another... sorry I, because see what i tell you the devi devata is a very touchy area but all i request <laughs> people is that we are worshiping you know we are in the puja yes. room have all yes. just give little one inch some higher position to krishna because he is a special respect he deserves because he is my lord and rest are also his servants you know if you mix them up then i i'm not I, I, actually nobody is happy you know they will be hanuman will be very happy that lord rama is you know higher seat than me you know he is his dasa so same way all the devatas are actually very satisfied when we see this is one you said no this is the one you said ye api anya devata bhaktya yajante shraddha yani exactly te api mam eva kaunteya yajanti abhiti purvaka so you shloka you heard very attentively Uh, but i right. uh, said without true understanding because people generally do not know his different generally mostly what i see people say in india now they say that uh, whatever i like i worship <laughs> <laughs> and you ask suppose you know i have tried it many times you say people are going to say devi temple or shiva temple just ask any temple even vishnu temple you ask them why you are going they don't know they just don't know so in that kind of what happens that he will not mature he will remain at that level So if they can read Bhagavad Gita, then the devotion will be very, very mature. And I we discussed that you know people go to God for four reasons. The lowest reason is they go out of fear, tamasic people. Then generally the astrologers here in Bangalore also they uh, this dosha, that dosha, they scare people and make money. You know Naga dosha, this dosha, and collect lakhs, lakhs of rupees. Oh my God, that's true. and in fact some people say it is very expensive to be hindu now <laughs> because of this astrology the next thing is people go out of desire they go because they have something to fulfill 
you know that's also not bad because you know suppose you are a father you are elderly one son is avoiding you better than if the son who comes and asks something you don't mind your son at the end of the day you are happy to give him something the next is better still who comes out of duty this my duty i came to this same town as you are situated my duty to pay my respects and inquire about your health then you feel very happy he doesn't ask anything just got but fourth one would count of love he conquers your heart so hanuman when he goes to see his lord rama he is no fear he has no desire to fulfill and he is even above duty is out of love he goes lord rama is captured you know i am your property so and that you cannot do to a devata you cannot because well, devatas cannot respond on a you know a loving play in a spiritual play devata get fulfill your desires and it is like business adan pradan two coconut i break give me this that's it you know just like indra you so he got angry when he was not being offered govardhan uh, puja correct before right. govardhan puja he got very angry that's a devata you know you give me something i give you something is a business but krishna uh, it is best to go with love and that is bhakti can actually be applied only to krishna this is very big statement to make but it is true if somebody so said that you are a, huh yeah you are a very knowledgeable man and very passionate about what you talk uh another uh, basic question you know uh, i just thought about it uh, in the mahakrishna mantra or we you we mention hare krishna hare krishna hare hare and hare rama hare rama hare hare so the the question i have is it's very basic probably a lot of people know the answer i don't know why involve rama in this mantra hmm this first thing this mantra is not made by iskon this mantra is given by brahma ha huh? okay hare krishna hare krishna in fact what happened narada goes to brahma this is recorded in vedas kali santarana upanishad and narada goes to brahma and says what would happen in kaliyuga my father because narada is a great saint great saint means they cannot see people suffering that's a, any great man means first quality of great man is he cannot tolerate to see other person suffering then you say really great correct so narada goes to brahma and says kaliyuga is going to be very tough it's like now every day when we hear the figures you know 15000 people getting corona we really shudder at the thought because we know within what is going to happen to these people within 10 days 10% of them probably 5 to 10% will leave the body breathless isn't it so we feel pain hearing such kind of news so same narada also when he thinks about impending kaliyuga goes to brahma my dear father tell me what should be done in kaliyuga you are a knowledgeable man so brahma says the statement he says hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare rama ram ram hare hare iti shodash nam nam kali kalmash nashanam natah paratara upaya sarvedesh deshate he say if i see all the vedas there is no better method than chanting this holy name kali kalmash iti shodash nam nam kali kalmash nashanam they destroy all the bad effect of kaliyuga now the question is why bring rama name no we iskon we have rama temples also we have that in bombay juhu we have lord rama temple for us lord rama lord krishna is the same personality narsimha rama krishna primarily these three we worship in iskon mood is different lord rama is mariyada purushottam chitta mood is aaj kaam karne ka break hi dena you know just like uh we had the situation of mother sita and mother sita somebody made fun of mother sita so lord rama at least so when uh, somebody some uh, lord rama said the king cannot have force king cannot live with force so he made a very painful decision my dear mother sita my dear sita you have to go to the forest because i cannot rule otherwise so he had either to leave the kingdom or to uh, you know uh, give a rule rama raja to people so he gave personal sacrifice a great sacrifice in the history but krishna not only one he brought 16100 girls who were kidnapped by bhamasura like sita correct 16100 girls they begged krishna to become the husband they said nobody will marry us now we have been kidnapped and krishna brought them he accepted their hand now if somebody is going to comment on krishna <laughs> he sudarshana will come he he is not playing role of mariyada purusha take another example at the difference in lord ram and lord krishna dasharatha fulfilled the promise he gave to his wife correct you know that hai na kai kai two promises 
But Vasudeva cheated. Kamsa. <laughs> Vasudeva did not give him the eighth child. He hid him. He hid him. So this pastime of Krishna Leela, Ram Leela, a little different. Krishna Leela is, you know, Lord Ram is Mariada, will be very, very pakka, will not tell a lie. How many times Krishna told lie in Mahabharata? You see that. So the pastimes are different. They say there are four things which are unique to Krishna, which even Vishnu Narayana does not show, or Lord Rama doesn't show. Number one is flute, which is very unique. Same personality, just like say, you have one kind of activities and in an office, one kind in the house, correct? More playful. In the house, sometimes the grandson maybe sit on your back and treat you like a horse and you run around. But you don't do that in office. So Krishna in houses, as the God in house is Krishna. In office is Vishnu or Rama. Rama is like in between. You, know? you can't have Vasalila. Nobody gave Vasalila like Krishna. Nobody gave. Where the devotees could play with him. Mother Rishwada tell that monkey will attack him. If I don't feed him, he will die. <laughs> is protecting my dear Krishna. So Krishna allows intimacy. That is second feature. His beauty is unparalleled. He surpasses all in beauty. Krishna's beauty was unimaginably beautiful. He is the personification of beauty. And the pastime with Krishna are very, very, very intense. Very intense. So in four ways, they say four Madhuriyas, Krishna excels the 60 qualities that other incarnations saw. And in analysis, another go more detail, one candle lights another candle, even both candles of the same power. Rama, the Shishu, Kala, Niyamena, Teshtan. So Brahma Samhita explains, one by one, all the candles are coming from what the original candle is Krishna. This is a elaborate analysis which we do in Chaitanya Charitamrita or Bhagavata. Who's the origin at the end of the day? Was Generally, people's understanding is Krishna is the avatar of Vishnu, correct? But Bhagavatam doesn't agree to that. Bhagavatam says he's avatari. Ete chamsa kalapamsa Krishna stu bhagavan swayam. In the second chapter, third chapter of the Bhagavatam Pratham Khanda, uh, Sutta Goswami lists 23 incarnations, not 10. And it says Krishna is not the incarnation, he's the avatari, he's the origin of all the incarnation. This is a separate issue. Okay, so Rama also refers to three personalities Balarama, Sita Rama, Parashurama. Correct. Correct. So now which one you say? Okay, is it thank okay? You, uh, have Perfect. I thank you. confused you or I it has made it clear? All you've confused me enough and to, <laughs> to be more inquisitive. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. It, it, it takes time. Everything takes time. See what happened. I sure. tell you how it is. You know, we make a hologram. How do you make a hologram? You have different images they put together and the picture is formed. Correct? So when you right. hear, but I'm just telling you one thing truthfully. I'm repeating from Brahma, Mod uh, Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Parampara. I'm not speaking on my own. So the, whatever I say will be consistent, will not contradict. Now, as it keeps, images keep coming, one class after another, or you also can read a Bhagavad Gita, you have as it is, you said, the picture will become clear. But it takes little, little time, you know. So my request is be a little patient. It is very clear picture in there. Yes, Prabhuji. Little, I really little appreciate patience. it. I beg your little patience. It will become very clear as things add up. Because, you know, in India, we are born in India. We are part of this culture. So many things you have heard. Only a connecting dot has to be made now. That's all. When you go to the Western world when you're preaching, it's difficult because you have to scratch you to start. Correct? Here we know what is Ganesha. Here we know Shiva. It's not that we have to start all the way beginning. They know. But just connecting dots we have to create. That's it. Then it becomes very, very clear. For me, you are the originating dot. So <laughs> that's uh, very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank okay. you, sir. Any, any question? Amulya, sir? Guruji, in this context of uh, Hare Rama Prashna. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Guruji, in this context, where do you place these uh, godheads? Self appointed people who, who, who are now gurus and the, they, they, they say they themselves are gods. In this context of Devi Devtas. No, no, many people are roaming around. In fact, the joke is, I tell you. Does Gita say anything about such people or they were not there at that time? No, when Krishna was there personally, at that time there was one person who said he's God, Poundraka. You know that, Poundraka. You heard about his story, Poundraka, you read the story. What did Krishna do? He cut his head. 
He was angry at me. So it's not good to say, it said only a very, very simple man will say I'm God. We look at ourselves, Amulya Ji. If somebody says I'm God, what will he say? Kya baat kar rahe hai? Ye chhoto corona se dar ke dwaraja band kar ke aata beta ho gaya. Toh kaisa bhagwan bol rahe hai? Toh kya majak nahi kar? Don't make a joke. Here I'm little every day scared and I check throat to thoda you know little kharas hota hai. Do liter garam pani pite hai dar dar ke. That is my condition. What are you telling? So proper says actually unless somebody is very simple. In fact, proper was once in a uh, somewhere giving class in Bombay itself, and somebody got up on the stage. Twenty-five thousand people attending the class, and he said, "I have a question." He said, "What?" He said, "I am God." Proper was so upset. He said, "You are dog, not God. Don't say such an offensive thing. It's a great aparada to say I am God." For a devotee, he gets hurt. You tell Hanumana, "You are Lord Rama," he will be hurt like anything. Kya baat kar? A Lord Rama is so glorious. You say you are that, so devotee is not agreeable to that. So some people begin say, but I feel actually because there is nothing lamentable in Krishna's kingdom. That is also true because Krishna is always smiling. That means cheater and the cheated are combined together. Say you go to market and you say, give me gold for ten rupees. So all the shopkeepers will put you out, but an intelligent shopkeeper will say, come, come, come. We'll give you some piece of stone because you know this guy doesn't know what is gold. Why ten rupees is giving for a gold? And he'll go off. So same way, some people want to be cheated. You know the joke I'll tell you. Shastra talks about Kalki Avatar at the end of Kali Yuga. The duration of Kalki Avatar, Kali Yuga is four lakh thirty thousand years, of which only five thousand is over. Already it is Gaur Kali Yuga. We don't know as the days goes, it is more and more dangerous. Therefore, we should attentively chant Hari Nama and go back to Krishna Loka. Don't stay here. Bhagavatam says end of Kali Yuga, people will be eating each other. So horrible it will become. So horrible. But then comes towards uh, Kalki. So one person, not one, two appeared in India already. They are, say, they are saying that Kalki. I'll not name them. They are saying I am Kalki. Somebody asked them that Bhagavatam says the Bhagavatam says that Kalki will come on a white horse. So where is the white horse? He says the white ambassador outside my house. Can you imagine the joke going on? Somebody asked him. So somebody asked him that you know why did you come now because you are supposed to come at the end of Kali Yuga you know what he said? अरे so much suffering is there so I came early. अरे कृष्णा ये त्रिका लगना he can see past present future you know if you see Veda Vyasa. Predict so many things of Kali Yuga. Some other day we can have just a class on that. How it has all come true, you know, it's unimaginable. Okay. Shridhar Shinoy. Okay. Oh, there are so many questions on the chat. Rupali Mataji, take care. Sound. Okay. Oh, I didn't see. It's full of questions. Okay, now my class is over, but uh, somebody who wants to hear question answers, I'll stay. Take care of your audio. One of my friend is a Krishna devotee, even though she is suffering from life that it is this. And how Krishna will? Why does Krishna do this? Why? Why is it that Krishna is sanctioned? See, that's why even Pandavas just work because we are devotee, we will not suffer. That is not true. Pandavas suffered so much. Pralad Mara suffered so much, Anna. That's not it. We are not asking from the Lord. In fact, the devotee goes in another way. He says, "My Lord, punish me more." That's a devotee. Ah, when anything good happens, he gives credit to Krishna. Krishna, I don't deserve it. I don't know why you're so kind to me. <laughs> when anything bad happens, say, "Oh, only this much punishment. We should have given more punishment." <laughs> so, devotee's outlook is different because he welcomes. When Krishna lifting mountain, he is wonderful. When Krishna gives punishment, he is wonderful. He does with great love. Sometimes he is doing for. We should therefore not put a condition. Okay, I am doing bhakti, so don't do this. No, my Lord, do whatever you want. I leave it to you. So leave it to Krishna what he wants to do. So called suffering, but it's actually Krishna is directly into the life of a devotee to quickly reform him and take him back to his lotus feet. I am unable to. Guru Ji, Hare Krishna. Yeah. So, Guru Ji, I wanted one info regarding the uh, whether uh, there will be final exams for this one or uh, 
just continuous internal like uh, supervised evaluation which one like uh, regarding uh, this uh, certificate uh, exam sir ha 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 फॉर यू आई मेक अ बिग एग्जामिनेशन यू वॉन्ट अ वन आई मेक वन बिग बिग एंड फॉर यू नॉट अबाउट इट मे बी वन वाइवा ऑल्सो आई लैक फॉर यू वाइवा गुड I just made a simple system so that you know they have read the chapter. That's it, and they were. Correct. Really? Like, uh, I have revising them by the chapters. Correct. No, no, we can we can make for you one nice one. I'll make. Uh, you say <laughs> send me your name, one Viva and one Ensem for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. So, a question can I ask now? Can I get response on the quiz and match email? Oh, where you can get some beautiful painting? You write to me. I'll send you a bunch of them. You are in the group probably. Uh, that will be information. Hare Krishna, Guruji, can you hear me? Yeah. What is your name, Mataji? Yes. It's raining cats and dogs in Bangalore. Heavy rain. Uh, wanting uh, to reach Krishna in Dwaita and finding Krishna within his Advaita is this correct? Oh my God, some new understanding. There is Advaita between Vishnu Tattvas. There is one, but between us and the Lord, there is definitely difference. But too much we don't meditate on difference because there is similarity also. Because I am love, I have desire to love. He also desire to love. I am an individual. He also an individual. I also have form and personality. He also has form and personality. Only difference is I am a photon. He is the sun. That's all. Difference is quantity. Quality we are same. Therefore, if you want to understand God, you can understand a living entity. Let's say you take you have to study ocean. Take a drop of water from ocean and you study. You can know the nature of ocean. The endless love of Krishna. Oh, thank you, thank you. In fact, when Krishna's love is so intense, it is said when Acharyas feel the love, they faint. They faint. You know, little love I have seen in colleges and boy and girl, so-called as the lust. Actually, they can't sleep. But in Krishna's love, we experience it really unimaginable. Why does Krishna create a person on earth and wants him to surrender to him? <laughs> Doesn't want him to surrender. It is for his own good. Not that Krishna is missing one. Chora servants ka thoda kami pad gaya. He comes for canvassing. I want some free servants. No, it's not that. Lakshmi Sahasra Sada Samne was saved with great respect. Millions of Lakshmi are waiting to serve him. He comes for our own good because he knows he will be happy in his service. He knows he cannot be happy without him. Can you please tell us whether Lord Shiva is also considered a demi god? I told you Lord Shiva's position is special. It needs. I have a class which I've shared in a group already. Otherwise, you go to my channel. Who is Lord Shiva? It needs a 40 minutes presentation. You will be happy because I have to give. It's a very delicate presentation. Why Shiva considered demigod? Venkateshwar uh, not considered avatar of Vishnu. Venkateshwar is Vishnu, same personality. Why are the name of four Vedas written? Vedas personified. That's Vedas personified reside in the spiritual. Personified, just like Ganga personified. Ganga Putra we say Bhishma, correct? Similarly, metal energy personified is Durga. Spiritual energy personified is Radha Rani. So Veda also have a personified form in which they serve Narayana. How can we sacrifice to Krishna? Chant Hare Krishna. Okay, now request time up. Please, we end the class. Okay, WhatsApp group I have already shared in my WhatsApp group. It is there. Ji, one last question. question, Hare Krishna. Can I? Ah. <laughs> okay, thank you, uh, Hare Krishna. Oh, uh, Prabhu ji, uh, the slide that you are on nine point two three, I I also hit into this uh, question from many people who ask me the same thing. Why do you consider Krishna to be the ultimate? So I end up showing this shloka and maybe a few others with which uh, my my gurus have given me uh, and the devotee community. But I, they also ask me, is there any any other organization or anybody else? who also says krishna is the supreme because it appears that for most people it's only iskon who keeps talking about so there's sort of a bias is there is there an intellectual answer i can give them yeah please if you can help me here huh? 
Now there you can see what happened. I have a boat which goes across the water and takes me to the lotus feet of the Lord. Correct. So I have really not studied all of the boats. I'm so happy with this boat. But if you want me to check, I can check. Like my colleague is saying, Guru Nanak also said, somebody who studied other scripture, but I have to study to say, to okay. confirm and tell the truth. For the Vaishnava Sampradaya, which you have four, I told you Sri Sampradaya, all the Ramanuja followers of Tirupati Sri Rangam, or the Nimbarka Sampradaya, like Vallabhacharya in Gujarat, they have come from Vishnu Swami Sampradaya, Rudra Sampradaya, they will also say the same thing. It is there. Sampradayas will say the same thing. There is only the thing is emphasis is different in the four versions of Sampradaya. Somebody emphasis is on the Lord has a form and we are different from the Lord. That is Madhva. Ramanujacharya is a Vaishnava Seva. And the different emphasis is there. But overall teachings are Vaishnava. We are Dasa of the Lord. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. Okay, thank you. Actually, your question may require me to think a little more. Maybe I can answer you more. Prabhuji, okay. if I may. Yeah. Uh, there, there is this uh, shloka of uh, Kalidasa. Uh, is written in Raghuvamsha. Uh, it, it goes this way. Kwa Surya Prabhu Vamsha Kwa Chalpa Vishaya Matihi Titir Shum Dustaram Mohadudipe Nasmi Sagaro uh, some and substance of the whole thing is, you know, like what you are saying and talking about, in that Kalidasa refers to uh, Rama. He, he's from Raghuvamsha. He says, it's a big ocean. And I'm sitting in a small boat trying to cross the ocean. Uh, how stupid am I? So in the same context, uh, the other people may question the existence of uh, Krishna and, you know, you should not, or why should we pray for Krishna? Uh, that's all I have to say. You know, I'm such a small, tiny, minute guy in this whole cosmic uh, universe. Uh, who am I to judge or who am I to deny what uh, Krishna has preached the word? Yes, yes. That's all. So yeah, this is actually Shruti Pramana, which is our foundation. The great Acharyas, the Shastra, the great saints, and our own bit, small bit of experience of serving Krishna, we also get some anubhava, little anubhava, that keeps us going day after day. And sometimes you have beautiful kirtan, that becomes one realization in your heart, you keep it, you know. Sometimes you had a very nice reading, you're reading Shastra, ah, so pleasing. Sometimes you went to a temple, saw a beautiful form of the Lord, you felt so ecstatic. All those small, small jewels you keep in your heart, and that keeps your faith gradually going in spiritual life. Sometime maybe prasadam. You had a wonderful, you felt ecstatic by taking some prasadam. There is some anubhava. Little anubhava is always there. And at the same time, the path of Guru Sadhu Shastra, we confidently walk. Okay. Thank, thank you me. very much, everybody. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Good night. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, everybody. Hare Krishna.